Today I have the honor to drive the brand new Skoda Superb for the first time and I have with me the diesel version 2 liter 193 horsepower the same version that I drive it also on the brand new Volkswagen Passat the only difference between this and the Volkswagen Passat that I drove I think one month ago is the fact that this Skoda Superb come with DCC Pro that means it comes with adaptive suspension and all that stuff all the good stuff is right here and I'm really Really curious how it's on the road and in this video we will do the test drive and I will give you all the feedback on how it's on the road and more information on how is the feeling when you drive this brand new Skoda Superb this is the Lauren and Clement version that the most expensive version guys that's something to clear from the beginning also it comes with those kind of business looking rims that from my point of view look quite nice 18 inch wheels also break this on the rear ventilated break this on the front this is the key the gloss sip key that looks really nice i really like it also it comes with keyless entrance uh, the car lock and unlock when you approach it also you can lock it and unlock it from here it comes even in the handles you see with the that very nice ambient light also when you come to the car you put your hand here and it unlock automatically more about interior exterior technical data space all that stuff we will talk in a different video because now i want to focus on driving incredible interior man i have no words the name for this is cognac uh, for the interior and it looks so cool is this brown interior wow when i saw it first time i was like whoa it looks really nice ergo seats super super uh, comfortable seats electric adjustable seats you have free position to set it you have massage on the seats the seats are heated ventilated and more and more normal pedals ambient light inside man the interior looks so cool the exterior is kind of round they improved aerodynamic but the interior it's so so business so premium really love it of course the price it's also premium <laughs> let's talk about the price uh, before that by the way guys if you're in switzerland around switzerland if you want to see the car test drive the car any skoda car the new uh, kodiak will come soon uh, scala kamik they already have it check out in bern amag skoda amag in bern i will leave the link in the description also on the screen they are very nice check them out go and uh, check out the cars and also if you want to buy it definitely you can go there technical data and price starting price for this superb lauren and clement 63730 francs but with all this option that i will show you in a second it goes up to 67310 francs in some countries the price might be better of course might be better because in switzerland are one of the the most expensive not only cars but all the products so yeah keep this in mind inclusive right here is the dcc dynamic chassis control included in this uh, version it comes with full led lights matrix high beam adaptive matrix high beam and all the good stuff it's here if i'm not wrong this is the yeah 13 inch screen where on this is the biggest this one that you can get and it's more than enough trust me on volkswagen passat you can get the 15 inch but you can get also 13 and this is the 13 one and it's bigger than most of the cars on the market and it's it's just perfect the way it is we will talk about that in the review other than that what is important the panoramic glass roof that looks incredible we will talk about you don't want to lose time man with those stuff let's go to the technical data 6.1 liter the estimated consumption 159 grams co2 emission and the weight 1898 kilograms it comes with a two liter diesel engine four cylinders in line combined with a seven speed automatic transmission dsg the same system i drive it on the new passat a volkswagen passat use the same same system it's really good one and it's really reliable and this diesel engine it's incredible reliable and i i really like the combination i have to say that if you're still on the market for a diesel uh, probably this might be one of the best combination that you can get 193 horsepower 400 newton meters top speed 230 km per hour 0 to 107.6 seconds also very important it's an all-wheel drive system that means the front wheel is drive permanently with the possibility to drive the rear wheel as needed that's really important to point out let's see the consumption we will test out also the consumption in this trip fuel tank capacity 66 liters and the turning circle 11.1 meter 18 inch wheels anyway guys let's start the engine press the brake here's the starting engine on the side let me put the seat belt 
Lauren and Clement Canton speakers. By the way, the sound system is really good. It has 14 speakers and one's a buffer in the trunk. Let me adjust this one. And the uh, sound insulation seems to be good. This guy also clean here the leaves so it doesn't sound too loud inside so I basically uh, don't hear it at all good visibility around the windows really really good visibility also in the mirrors great visibility kind of round nice mirrors you can adjust it from here electrically super simple just like that it seems to have very good visibility around the car also manual adjustable seats blind spot technology you already saw it in the corner head-up display directly on the windscreen uh, to be honest it seems to be I'm not sure why it seems to be a little bit better on Volkswagen cars the the head-up display it seems to be the resolution a little bit better I'm not sure if this is happening only on this car or is not set up properly but it seems to be a little bit better the resolution and the clarity but other than that also it's very good this one climatic system all that stuff I don't want to talk too much about them because we will talk in the review video here's the electronic handbrake the auto hold function you, you have it in the menu somewhere around here you have to activate it from the uh, vehicle menu I didn't play too much with it because it's a little bit even though it seems to be kind of the same as it is on the Volkswagen it is a little bit different and you have to to go a little bit around in the menu uh, to find that but it comes with auto hold function but it should be somewhere in the menu not sure where I have to play a little bit with it in order to find it it comes also with uh, auto hold if you want to change the driving modes guys you have to go here to the mode and then you have echo mode comfort mode normal mode sport mode and individual if you go to individual and go to configurate you will see the DCC dynamic chassis control it's here the new system with two valve and you can adjust like for from 15 stops so you can put it super comfortable in the left or you can put it super stiffer and we will drive right now and we will test all and then you have also a few settings here normal sport steering how you like to have the drive mode and adaptive cruise control and so on we will drive like that you can also customize this amazing digital cockpit i want to adjust a little bit the seats i think right now like this is perfect and let's drive it you have the the stalk behind the steering wheel right here you rotate it forward you go in drive you rotate it one more time short you go in s mode in sport mode so the gear will be in sport mode you want to go in reverse you you pull it in the back the same as id free have kind of the same system and it comes with 360 degrees camera by the way i will show you later when we park put it in drive and let's drive the car first of all i also praise the volkswagen when i drive the volkswagen passat the new one uh, with the same system same diesel engine and uh, transmission i praise it because this diesel it's so improved man i mean volkswagen group works so much on it and it's so good right now it's a little bit a shame that uh, they have to give up in a few years to those diesel uh, engine because they work so much the the engine it becomes so good so smooth it's sometimes you have the illusion that you're driving a petrol engine you know what I mean is that good yeah and the transmission in combination with it the the setup the way they set it up depending on different driving modes echo normal sport mode it's changing the gears in a perfect perfect position uh, in a perfect moment I mean anyway um, yeah it, it, it's quite similar with the Passat the new Passat the driving feeling um, I like it very much it feels premium inside this is very important this premium feeling when you drive a car it's so unique and it's so um, I, I would say it's so pleasant to be here in the car I like it the steering right now if I'm not wrong we are individual mode yeah and everything it's on normal so it's no echo or stuff like that it's on normal but I put it on comfort to see because here are a few bumps when we go out on the street and I want to feel those bumps oh yeah oh yeah it's so cool so smooth and now if I go all the way on the stiffer on the sport we have a few bumps here ahead let's see how they how the car managed to do it now we have to wait a little bit start stop system also coming right now 
when, oh my. Let's see. Yeah, definitely you can feel a difference. And when you put it on stiffer mode, um, the car have better handlings on curves at high speeds and also on twisty roads. But if you drive in the city, you see, you feel like, you feel like every single bump, you feel a little bit more closer to the road. It feels a little bit more sportier when you put it like that. Um, but when you go back, where was that? Here. Ah, why you activate it? Let me go back there. Yeah, individual configurate. And when you go back to, to comfort right now, the car will feel much more comfortable. It will give you maximum comfort. So when you go over the bumps, uh, to feel that pleasant. Now, this car is capable to reach 1,000 km if you drive super economical. Um, it's it's pretty, pretty insane. You have the climatic system with f with physical buttons and wheels. That's, that's fantastic. I love that. I think this is one of the plus that this Skoda Superb have over the Volkswagen uh, Passat because you have so possibility so easy to go and turn on the climatic system you know what I think I forget something yes I forget something I definitely forget something and you know what I forget to but I will do it right now reset the consumption man right now I reset it long terms you see in the middle Okay, now I reset it. I was forgetting, but I we didn't drive too much, so that's good. You can see in the front the navigation. You can have so many views right there in the front. It's so convenient. This digital cockpit, it's really, really convenient. I really love the ambience with this glass roof up here as well. The screen, it's so big. You have such a good visibility. You don't even need... Um, a bigger one to be honest you have also good visibility because it's in your peripheral view soft material everywhere and it's a soft material in a super high quality um, it feels really really good build and also the seat by the way you did you know that you have heated seats heated steering wheel and ventilated seats that's insane and anyway from here you can turn on the climatic system you can turn it off and if you press on this you can change uh, volume you can go to change the driver profile and so on it's so smart and from here you change the temperature and if you press it you can turn on and off the heating on the seats plus uh, the ventilation on the seats you can turn it on and off so that's that's quite quite smart anyway now we are in comfort mode and you definitely can see that. I'm really curious to go in some twisty roads to see how it feels, the car. If we have some body rolling or stuff like that, or it, if it's stable. And I understand. I will. I will see that immediately in in a few minutes. But I like it. It feels premium. It feels nice. The sound insulation seems to be great. Oh, it has double glassing. That's great. The same as Passat. That's great. That why the sound insulation. Ooh, it feels great. It feels good. Ooh, it feels nice. We are in comfort mode. Yeah, it feels definitely nice. Let's go in sport. Let's put it in sport mode. Let's see now how it feels the suspension. Because we go on twisty road. There will be a little bit of twisty road there, and I want to feel that. I want to feel it. If I go in sport mode, what happened with? Yeah, I don't know what happened with it. Let, let's stay in individual. Um, but put it all wheel drive sport, steering sport, drive sport. And then doesn't matter the others. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to go right here. Okay. And you know what? I like the the. Oh wow! Let's see here in this curve. It's a big curve here. Oh, ho, 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 nice, 
nice the side support hold me well the car is doing such a good job wow yeah it's good it's good it's good they did a great job man <laughs> oh and it has plenty of power more than you need more power than you need now I have to go a little bit to drive a little bit slower here in the speed limit because it's Switzerland and the, the tickets here are insane <laughs> but yeah behind the steering wheel down here you have some um, a stalk you have a stalk to adjust the cruise control and all that uh, lane assist and you can uh, activate the autopilot from here you can set also the speed and the car will look at this it stays between the lanes here are construction sites usually on construction sites most of the car can stay between the lanes I will have my hands here for safety because I definitely don't trust those autopilots but it seems to be fine until now it seems to be good uh, I want to go on the first lane uh, I want to go on the first lane maybe someone want to drive a little bit faster so I, I don't want to exceed the speed limit man for me it's important and you can see there in the front on the cockpit you can see also on the head-up display it gives you information about the lanes about the speed you can see the blind spot technology in the mirror there oh you feel that now there are some bumpy road here and you definitely feel everything it gives you such a real feedback like a like a sporty car this DCC plus I think it's one of the best invention of Volkswagen cars oh the acceleration I don't even need to tell you it's it's so responsive again here check this out set the speed a little bit higher and the car it stays between the lanes it's driving itself perfectly really really nice take over the steering wheel it's warm from time to time you know what I have to go right here I have to accelerate a little bit man even if we go uphill if it feels like you have more than enough power 193 horsepower it's more more than enough and right now in sport mode you definitely feel like a sporty car I can say it's it's like an R but definitely really close to that uh, suspension feeling so man I like that I like this DCC you see even over those small bumps you feel it so real so so close the, the feedback it's it's crazy crazy real now we are in sport mode we will try some acceleration I hope there's nobody around here so if you go here and then oh boy oh boy it's not crazy but the grip it's it's super fine wow the grip is fine because I, I felt how the car grip on the rear and on the on the front as well um, as I said it's an all-wheel drive as needed on the rear but the grip was so so good it feels like it felt like it pulled the car together so that that's fine that's fine this is something that I want to see um, I like it I like it I definitely like it yeah and I did man I definitely feel those bumps little bumps you feel like you're driving a, a sporty car you know when you drive a sporty car you feel like every bump and everything feels like like together is going I don't know if you know the feeling and this one it's so realistic man it gives you that that feeling and if you move it here to comfort you don't feel anymore those bumps it's, it's like it feels much more comfortable it's like floating now you don't feel anymore those little imperfections and go back here and then again yo look at this you see the vibration on the car look at look at the vibration Look how much the car vibrate and if we move here look at this look at the steering no more vibration everything is so smooth it's like floating I can I can show you enough better than that the comparison between this uh, DCC it's incredible if you have the chance if you have the money if you buy a Volkswagen or, or a Skoda car if you want to buy this superb you have the option go for it man because DCC it's it's 
it's like having m more cars in one car in terms of suspensions the brakes and the pedal feel smooth and nice the same the same the same as on the Volkswagen here here are a few bumps look at this Ooh. and the sound from articulation it's so smooth nice nice I like it I like it now uh, let's change the driving modes. Let's go in Echo mode to see how it's going on in Echo mode. Yeah, uh, I already felt now the acceleration. It's much more smooth. It gives you much, much slower the power, and it's changing much faster. It's much more silent the engine in Echo mode as well. But if you move to Sport, again. Hear this out, the RPM stay high. But even so, the engine is pretty silent, man. It's pretty silent. The sound insulation is great. Between the engine to the cabin, it's great. Ooh, it stays good in curves. Really, really good. Between, ah, I wanna go left here because I wanna show you in the nighttime how it looks, the interior. It feels good, I like it. I really, really like the car. I knew I knew it's almost similar with Volkswagen Passat, so I knew before I would I would like it. But now being inside with this uh, interior, I saw the car before, but I didn't see it with this interior. And ah, I like it so much. And I like how convenient everything. It's so easy to reach out. Physical button here, here. Ooh, Skoda, uh, step up the game. It's it's a really premium car. It's a premium price, but it's a premium car. It definitely feel like a premium car. You have ambient light inside here that looks phenomenal. You will see in the nighttime. Ah, oh, nice car, man. Nice car. Nice car. Soft material here. This is leather and it's so it's it's not just a little bit soft. It's like this thick this material here. Now we are in sport mode. I really like also the the digital cockpit with so many informations it's so customizable you hear how it's changing the gears in sport mode and you reach like 50 60 in, in no time it's it's so good uh, the setup to the transmission everything it's it's so good that's why I tell you they work so much on these engines it's too bad it, it's a shame you know it's a shame that they cannot use it anymore because they work a lot now in the night time check this out you can see the lights inside you can see the way it looks the ambient light you can see the way it looks the screen it's turned immediately dark and you see this light LED lights it has adaptive LED metrics high beam so it can turn off and on different pixel individual pixel in order to not blind the other traffic participants um, great grip on the steering wheel in two spoke uh, yeah I, I don't know if it's something that I I can complain about this car in roundabout it stays great also seems to be the turning circle seems to be pretty good I noticed that here I turn the car very very easy plus it has some space to turn a little bit more from the steering wheel now this is the way it looks in the nighttime and then you can also set up the speed from here just like that and the car will stay between the lanes will accelerate will brake will do the job for you but this is the way it looks in the nighttime and then immediately right now it's switching when you go out and it filled this um, is light yeah it's not so immediately but now it's turning <laughs> anyway in traffic it's great that you can set up again this speed and the car will look at this it's braking itself and will do the job for you and you can see right there it sees the truck in front you can see it right there on the head-up display that it's a truck so the car knows that it's a truck ahead and even here if you see in the middle right now the driving view you see that it's a truck and you can choose the distance between you and the car in front you can choose um, a lot a lot of uh, settings it's so so smart and if we go like this if we press this one you have all this driving view only the driving view ahead nice 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 we will see also the consumption in the end 21 degrees outside the climatic system it's off now we put it on 
to drive a little bit with the climatic system on and off. I like those screens so much, it looks so cool. Ooh, it's much more responsive now. Ah, no, no, no way, no way. I don't want to have this car in front when we go on the highway. That's the last thing I want to have. I have another idea, you know what? Let's let's go on the other part of the highway because otherwise we stay for the for that truck so much and we lose the fun part. So we go around here and I have another option. Now I turn on the climatic system. You see you press this one and then you press it one more time and then you turn on the ventilation on the seats and right now when it's super hot you don't want to sweat under the pants and you turn it on and the the ventilation it's it's turned on and it's so convenient i like it i wish i have this on my car so i turn on the ventilation right now we know we are in sport mode and you can hear the car it stays at higher rpms yes i go alone here that's what i want to see oh those are some twisty roads oh yeah wow oh yeah it stays so good fantastic love it love it love it man i love it oh in sport mode the, the suspension are so good set up the the setting it's insane go back here yeah you know what i wish to have a button to change these different driving modes uh close to the steering wheel here on the steering wheel if it was a button to change the different driving modes oh will be so convenient because you change it really fast you don't have to go into the menu but even so, now we are in echo mode. Going on the highway. Now, if you want to activate it, let me show you. Pull it once and then the autopilot is activated. You can see it right there on the digital cockpit. You can see it on the head-up display. And right now, how cool is that? The car is driving itself. It stays between the lanes. It sees the car in front. It warns you from time to time to put your hands on the steering wheel. And that's it look at this it works so good I tested before on Passat and basically they use kind of the same autopilot system and it's same good it's really really good it comes really close 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 to Tesla one it's really good and I really appreciate that let's go back to sport mode because we want to pass this truck and we disengage with a brake the autopilot turn the signals press the acceleration and here we go Whoa. at 100 you basically don't hear too much noise from outside the sound insulation acoustic glass it's it's really good also the shape of the car it's round aerodynamic so Basically, you don't hear too much noise from outside. So that's very important. Nice, nice cruiser. Again, activate the cruise control. The car will do the job for you. We'll stay between the lanes. Accelerate, brake. You can choose a uh, distance between you and the car in front from this talk behind the steering wheel down here. fabulous really really nice look at it still still going a great job 7.5 liter we have consumption until now guys just in case now the car it start to braking oh by the way I forget to tell you the car is also able to detect the traffic speed limit and then it will adjust the autopilot speed to the speed that the car read so it's a super smart system that uh, Volkswagen Passat come also with so that means you drive on autopilot right now and you have 80 km per hour if the car read 
100 then it will change automatic to 100 how smart is that and if it comes 60 it's changed to 60 so that's so so convenient something that Tesla for example doesn't have but Volkswagen have it and Skoda have it so that's gorgeous so yeah definitely uh, there are there are many things that are wow they are great now again just want to go to comfort mode if you go to comfort everything is on comfort again you don't feel any imperfection on the road it's much more comfortable you saw that was so so smooth and nice let's go out here because someone want to accelerate I don't want to drive too fast here because there are um, radars and I don't want to get tickets so better safe than sorry 6.6 .6 liter consumption until now I think if you drive super economical you can get great consumption and you can definitely beat the VLTP but yeah depending right now the climatic system it's on the ventilation system on my seats it's on I can also stop it now uh, so it's it's pleasant it's definitely pleasant to drive this car really like it yeah and sound insulation it's fantastic the suspension are amazing and the driving feeling steering everything it's set up perfectly the engine the gearbox um, yeah it's it's a car that you go for sure you know for sure it's a good car if you buy it you know it's it has a great driving feeling Ah, too bad that I don't have a highway around here where I can drive 120 30 to test it a little bit at a higher speed But I will get the car soon and I will take it also out on the man how it feels how smooth it feels the pedals and the brake here. Oh Nice, I like it Yeah, so Skoda is no more that car affordable car budget car uh, Skoda become a premium brand with really good uh, premium feeling on materials, on driving feeling. Overall, it's it's a very well built car. From my point of view, uh, yeah, if you are on the market for a family car in this segment, probably might be the best, uh, one of the best. As I said in Volkswagen Passat, it's fantastic that car. This one is also fantastic. It's hard to choose, man. It's it's really hard to choose. It's really hard to choose because there are so many great cars these days on the market. It's almost sometimes it's almost impossible to choose a car. I think there are yeah, there are not bad cars, they are just good cars for the right person or for every person it's a right car or good car so you have to test it you have to go and see it if you like it but phew, you can see how much space I have here I feel so comfy yeah. 6.5 liter it's going down a little bit It has just a little bit of slightly delay when you press the acceleration, but that's that's normal. Fantastic car. Let's park it here to show you also these 360 degrees cameras. Uh, right here. Check this out. You go reverse from here, from this talk, you reverse it like that turn it back you see those active lines there you have good visibility in the mirrors but in the same time you have also these 360 degrees cameras that help you guide you go through um, around the obstacles uh, what I notice is that it's kind of the same system the same cameras as you have it also on Volkswagen Group so uh, basically it works the same pretty nice it's, it's a nice system with 
uh, a lot of features here. Park assist, it comes with park assist, the car is able to park itself. Trail, trailer assist as well. Uh, park assist, how it works, you just drive around the parking lots and then the car will show you a, a place and then and then it uh, it will definitely park. I'm not going to use it right now. Also, it it, it has also this rear uh, traffic alert. That's super useful. 6.6 .6 liter, guys. You saw it before, right there. Ah, uh, where is it? 6.6 .6 liter. That was the consumption. From my point of view, it is a good consumption. The way we drive with climatic system, with ventilation on the seats and so on. Definitely a super, super premium car. Definitely a car to take into consideration if you want to buy an estate, a family car. Definitely go and see it. Go and drive it. You might be surprised on how good this car it is and how good materials are. The driving feeling very, very similar with the Volkswagen Passat, the new Volkswagen Passat. Both of them are fantastic cars, really hard to choose. I guess it's just about the design and what you like more. But yeah, I totally recommend you this Skoda Superb because it's 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 great. I think you won't be sorry if you would buy it. I think you will be really happy. And being inside, it feels special. It feels like it's it's an expensive car. Anyway, that was the video, guys. If you have question, ask me down below. Whatever question you have, if you want to see the car, test drive the car, buy the car, check out Skoda Amag in Bern in Switzerland. They are super nice. If you are around here, go and see test the cars because they are they are quite nice. Also, I hope the video was useful. I hope you get some useful information from here. Don't miss out the full review with the same car, interior, exterior, material quality, multimedia system, everything about the car. I will have a separate video, so don't miss it out. It will be really interesting. Thank you very much to all of you that are watching my videos. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I will appreciate it a lot. Thank you again. Stay safe and I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.